I'm Wage Shimotu. So this is my first solo museum exhibition um, in the U.S. It's titled A Fantastic Journey and in some ways it's, it's a bit of a celebration of a title but it's also ironic in the sense that the journey has been difficult. I think the most important for, thing for a contemporary artist is to be a truth seeker and not necessarily a traditional, tradition keeper. These works that you see here sometimes are uh, not recognizable to anybody as an African artist's work, um, but the truth of the matter is I was born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya, and a lot of my works deal with this notion of being an immigrant, being a woman, being a creative person, uh, being someone who basically left home to kind of self-invent. You know, am I trying to uh, reveal something about sexuality in my work? Yeah, there is a, a type of a puritanism that I think um, was enforced on me as a young woman. And because I went to Catholic school, I happen to have a deep, uh, uh, you know, love of a certain kind of imagery. In some ways, a lot of my singular female um, uh, images are, are always um, a dedication to reworking that un ultimately unfathomably impossible um, ideal of, um, of the Madonna. So, 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 so. The end of eating everything. It's really about um, this moment in time when I feel like we are in a very precarious um, place as far as the world we live in, the environment. Santi came to me because I was um, already aware that I wanted to direct this piece as opposed to acting in it and find somebody who basically could manifest this creature, who had the intelligence and the beauty and the complexity Um, I don't want to idealize it because I think I'll always be a bit of an outsider no matter where I go because ultimately artists always feel at odds with normal people, normal life. But I think that um, my dream is to um, be able to um, make and think and create and communicate and talk and, and be in cahoots with people from within my home country. Um, so even though Brooklyn is my adopted home and um, has taken care of me for many years, I think there's, um, there's another chapter in, in, uh, in the return.